Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a gill with Weaver and Stormblood. Now with the world visit system, prices on your market should not be affected. The only thing that these people can do is basically buy your stuff off the market board. So all the videos I have done so far should not be affected negatively by the world visit system. So I just want to put that out there. So again, as a disclaimer, make sure you do research on your market board regardless. All right, there's a few things on this list, not too many. So this video will be a little bit short and quick because I got things I got to do in game. So we're just going to get right into it, okay? So the first thing on this list is blood hempen yarn. This is the first weaver item that you could be making in Stormblood. Yeah, 51 hits on my server, so we're ranging from 1100 all the way up to possibly around, uh, I would say 5000. All right. With weaver, you only have one item that really is used for lev quests. So again, it's up to you if you guys want to sell high quality or normal quality. On our server, Gilgamesh, selling high quality seems to be a better choice. And it's been selling great for the past two days. Next, Blood Hempen Cloth. This comes from making Blood Hempen Yarn. As you can see here, they're way more expensive. Ranging from, we'll round that up to 6,000. Possibly up to 10,000. I don't think anybody's going to be buying 20,000 unless there's nothing on the market board. But as you can see here again, that's like the yarn, they've been selling great for the past two days. High quality over normal quality. The reason why Weaver is so expensive is because the hurdles you have to go through. You have to gather the item, make the yarn, make the cloth, and then make the item itself. So that's why Weaver was always expensive regardless of the expansion. Next is the Ruby Cotton. Ruby Cotton yarn, it's got 48 hits on my server. So we're going to ignore those. So ranging from 1,000 all the way up to, let's say, 5,000 high quality. But as you can see here, uh, normal quality seems to be selling over high quality. And they've been selling great for the past two days. A little low, but you need them to make the next thing on this list is the Ruben Cotton Cloth, which is a LevQuest item. And as you can see here, it's a little bit more expensive than the yarn. So we're ranging from 2,500 all the way up to, I would say, 10,000 for high quality. But as you can see here, not too many have gone up to that 10,000 marker. So as you can see here, high quality over normal quality, of course, if you're using love quests, it's always best to pass them in high quality. And of course, they've been selling the same the past two days as the rest. Next is going to be the kudzu cloth. The kudzu cloth is used for the kudzu set. Since I have already shown that the kudzu set is enough to get yourself to 70, as well as making the next level 70 set. When you get hit level 70, the kudzu cloth is extremely, extremely expensive. And as they say, they are. So we're ranging from 7,300 to 12,000 for high quality. As you can see, it can go up to even further than that. But it has been selling eh, not as great as the other ones, but it's still a decent seller. Normal quality and high quality seems to be even. Next is the Step Surge. Now the step surge set can be skipped completely when you're leveling up your crafters, but the step surge is used in other recipes besides the crafting set. But you should still make the sets anyway for the experience bonus when you're doing it for the first time. Ranging from, we'll run that up to 8,500, possibly up to 20,000 for high quality. So at the later levels, you really need high quality anymore so 
depends on your servers go ahead and sell high quality if you like but for mine it seems to be normal quality sells over high quality and they have been selling great the past yeah well yesterday not anything of today but they've been probably selling the, the, two days ago and yesterday so these are very expensive next is the worsted, worsted yarn which is basically the yarn of step surge This yarn you'll be using the the orgs out where you go out into the burn dungeon and then the little green I guess you want to say the snorbels that you're from El Rumber Born they're green and, and the Azim step they'll drop the other item to make the worsted yarn. They increase the drop rate so you should get a lot of them per kill. So as you can see here so there are 30 hits on my server so ranging from 2300 to possibly 15 to 20 thousands of high quality again normal quality seems to be selling better than high quality and this has been selling great for the past two days and next is the final leveling yarn is going to be the twin thread this is to make the basic level 70 gear before you start making the end game so you get twin thread the materials to make for this is effervescent water, which is easy to get from Rumble Born, and the twin silk cocoons, which is um, get through mobs out in the peaks, or you can gather them yourself. So we got 57 hits on my server, but they're still pretty expensive, ranging from we'll run up to 2,500. Normal quality can go up to possibly 10,000 for high quality. As you can see here, again, normal quality seems to be dominant over the high quality, and they've been selling great over the weekend. Of course, I bought one over here. <laughs> and then we're going to the twin silk, which is the cloth. And as you can see here, we get 18 hits, ranging from, this is my retainer here, from, I'll run that up to 6,000, all the way up to 10,000. So it's been eh, okay for the past three days. Uh, it seems to be a little half and half, high quality and normal quality. So use your best judgment. And the last thing is going to be, well, the cloth anyway is the Stardust cloth, which is basically for end game. So the cloth can range up to 15,000 and possibly up to 30,000 for high quality. And of course, as you can see here, high quality seems to be selling more than normal quality, which is always nice. So high quality over normal quality. And they're, I would say 50-50, but of course this is my server and my server is full of end game crafters. So there you go. And as an honorable mention, Something that I kind of been selling recently, and that's the fat cat couch. Or sofa. So as you can see here, these used to be, not only used to be like maybe like three on the market board, but it seems to be uh, selling more now. So, if I'm mine, it's ranging from 109,000 to 445,000, but no one's gonna be paying for these as long as people keep making these. Now with furniture, it's basically at an acquired taste, but as you can see here, they have been selling sporadically, but if you guys wanted to take a shot and a chance out of this, go ahead and start making fat cat sofas. Sell one at a time, do not oversaturate the market, otherwise you're going to be devaluing the item. So that's why it's an honorable mention. Alright guys, so that pretty much is going to be it for this video, and that's actually the last crafter for this type of video that I'm going to be doing for Stormblood, since Shadowbringers is a month and 20 something days away for early access. So you won't be seeing another guild guide, and possibly until Shadowbringers. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than help happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. I just sold some Alchemix. <laughs> 
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys will never miss an upload. And make sure you follow me on all my social media at Zane Lionheart at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Muhammad. Take care, guys, and happy selling.